exposed details of Pistorius's current state of mind. The report made public for the first time. They confirm Pistorius never suffered from a general anxiety disorder. Currently, the accused presents with an adjustment disorder <coughs> with mixed anxiety and depressed mood that developed after the alleged incident. The defense has worked to show Pistorius did not have a history of aggression and violence and painted a picture of a loving relationship. Mr Pistorius is being treated and should continue to receive clinical care by a psychiatrist and a clinical psychologist for his current condition. Should he not receive proper clinical care, his condition is likely to worsen and increase the risk for suicide and in a reference to, to references. 5.3. No evidence could be found to indicate that Mr Pistorius has the history of abnormal aggression or explosive violence. Experts have also weighed in on the potential damage the report could cause. The purpose of the referral in the first instance was obviously to determine whether he can be held criminal liable as a result of a mental defect or mental sickness at the time of the incident. Now obviously that conclusion has been reached. He can be held criminal responsible for that. All the other evidence that was forthcoming out of this report is basically collateral to that issue. So, to a large extent, the court might just as well ignore it as irrelevant for the purposes of what that report was intended in the first instance. Then a trump card defense witness was called. The team doctor who traveled with the athlete to major international games. His testimony was revealing. He is an anxious individual. I have found him to be anxious during most interactions with myself and others within the Paralympic village. The athlete clearly distraught when talking about his relationship with Riva Stienkamp. This is the last witness as the defense prepares to rest its case. Derman is yet to be cross-examined by the state. The prosecution will attempt to prove beyond reasonable doubt that Pistorius shot and killed Stienkamp in cold blood. Mangobam Kudu, SAPC News at the North Gauteng High Court.